Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and today I'm going to be talking to you about monitor refresh rates. Now, if you are new around here, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit like on this video as it really, really helps out the channel. Now, the refresh rate of a monitor is measured in what's called Hertz. And this is how many times per second the display draws the image onto the screen. A refresh rate can sometimes be confused with FPS output from a game. And yes, whilst they both refer to the number of times a static image is displayed per second, FPS actually refers to the content, whereas refresh rate refers to the video signal or display. A higher refresh rate will make motion look so much smoother and is considered to be very, very important whilst gaming. Now you may have heard the old age statement of, well, the human eye can't detect such speeds. Whilst there is an argument for this, contrary to popular belief, the human eye is actually very good at detecting these changes. So on screen now is a final example of the difference between refresh rate. Here you can see the 60Hz screen lags behind the 120Hz quite noticeably and the delay is very apparent. At 240Hz it becomes night and day and you can see how the refresh rate affects the overall response of the monitor with the 60Hz lagging behind quite exponentially. There is no doubt that a monitor with a higher refresh rate is going to make huge changes to your gaming experience especially when you're going from say a 60 Hertz to a 144 Hertz. But that being said, there are a few things that you need to know before you do just go and upgrade. Now you're going to want to make sure that you can achieve the same value FPS in your favorite games to match the high refresh rate of your chosen monitor. If your system can only manage 30 to 60 FPS and then you go and buy a 360 Hertz monitor, many of those screen refreshes just won't contain new frames of information and it'll leave you rather unsatisfied with the end result. And it is also worth noting that monitors with a higher refresh rate will become increasingly more expensive the higher you go. And also when we do get to the dizzying speeds of 240 hertz and even 360 hertz, you will find that most manufacturers use a TN panel as it is difficult to incorporate high refresh rate technologies into IPS panels. If you want to find out more about the different types of monitor panel technology, then we do actually have a video on that. So if you click the card that just popped up there, that will take you to the video that I have previously made on this. High refresh rate monitors should really only come into consideration for gaming purposes only, as you're rarely going to see applications or video playback running higher than 60 FPS. But to be fair, if you wanna see Google Chrome get dragged around the screen at a higher refresh rate, I ain't gonna judge. 60 Hz monitors also should only really be considered if you are a keen 4K gamer looking to get smooth gameplay from your AAA titles in those maxed out settings. 60 Hz is considered entry level, where you could save money in the short term, but you are always going to need to upgrade in the future. And once you do experience that 144 Hz, hard to go back, I'll be honest. Don't forget to give us a like on this video if you liked it and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any more in the future. If you head to the description down below, you'll find our full article on this subject as well as a link to our Discord server. I've been Jay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.